we join once more with Silac on his quest to unite the armies of darkness and bring death, destruction, and for us his will to the land of men. Silac, along with his slave and the chieftain of the Spikefoot clan, Garth, finally reach the lair of the mountain giants, led by the grotesque but strangely arousing matriarch Bash. Bash seems dismissive of Silac's call to arms, but gives him test to prove him a worthy ally. To retrieve the lost horn of stone, Silac parts way with Garth and his slave, and ascends the mountain alone. Determined to prove himself, and guided by his gut, and perhaps Varas's hidden hand, he seeks out the nest of the mighty rock that prowls the skies above the mountain. The journey is fraught with trials and tribulations, including a night attack from the very rock whose nest he seeks out, but he managed to hide from it until the rock grew bored and left. The next day, starving, Silac finds the nest along with three rock chicks. Searching it, he finds woven into the nest the bones of a giant and the horn of stone, which he blows, before rapidly executing a tactical withdrawal back to the lair of Bash. The male giants leave to retrieve the horn, and Silac manages to not only convince Bash to not kill him, but also to meet his forces in nine days' time for the attack. Exhausted from his ordeal, Silac descends the mountain and finds the Spikefoots, who were summoned by the Horn of Stone. But while discussing the next steps, our Hobgoblin questions his worthiness, and Silac not only kills the fool for his insolence, but returns him to life. So we take our leave of Silac. Will he be able to recruit more creatures to his army? Will Redport burn? Will he create a giant crawling claw? Find out next time on Dicing with Death. Hello everybody and welcome to Dicing with Death. Sorry I was playing with something and I completely forgot that we were that the, the show was ready to go live. Hi Ryan, how's it going? It's going well after that epic foreboding intro courtesy of Layla, Layla and Chris. Chris. Yeah. Well done guys, as always. Here you are spoiling the mood with your little, little touch screen. Feelings. Yeah. Um so, how's it going? Welcome back to Vietnam. Thank you, thank welcome, you. Welcome back to the all consuming light. Maybe I can get some, it's, some more it's light in here and beautiful get, here. Get my white paint going mm. as well. So I, I just got back to Vietnam yesterday, day before yesterday. I was in travel for 46 hours from the time I left my hotel till the time I arrived in Vietnam. Uh, and that was not a fun 46 hours because I had like a fever of 99.7 the whole time. Um, and I was all now by myself. Now there's hundreds of thousands of other people that also have a fever. Yeah, yeah. And probably infected the whole world with whatever disease I have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, how how are you doing, Ryan? Doing well. Yeah. Good. Same old over here. I don't. I haven't traveled halfway around the world since the last time we spoke. Good. So, keeping it real. Cool. Well, then let's just jump into game. Uh, last we left yeah. you. As the recap said, you had gathered some hobgoblins to your cause and some mountain giants. Yeah, I was gonna say not just hobgoblins. We got we got the giants now. Assuming the rock doesn't eat them before they can they can get out to the rendezvous. Right, right. So and I think did we wrap up back at the Spikefoot encampment? I believe. Where do we leave off with that? Yeah, I think the last scene we had was some was a was the duel between myself and some nameless. Yeah. And then you 
you brought him below seven. zero, and then you healed him and brought him back to one. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So. And I can't remember what. Yeah. So we probably. So yeah. You tell me where we are from there. Where, where uh, we are. We are we're at camp, and I believe the sun is going down. It is okay. time for you to I go think... to sleep. Yeah. Do I have? So this is the same day that I. Yes. Slew and unslew that. Yes. So I think I'm totally out. Of, I think I used all of my spells in that duel, except for cause light wounds. Maybe call upon faith. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find my notes on the spiked foot. I guess I, I didn't have a name for the guy that I killed. It doesn't no. matter. Just nameless hobgoblin. And nameless for those, hobgoblin. yeah. So here is Ryan's location on the map. And if I'm not mistaken, in uh, 15 tides, so in like seven or eight days, you were supposed so, to meet back with your new army over here to meet up with your other. Was it originally 15? It was originally 15 tides. It was originally 30 tides. 30 tides. Yeah. But, yeah. So for, I had a fortnight is what I had translated it into. And yeah. so it was like, what? It was a couple of days to the hills couple of days with the giants so i think it's been it's been about five days i think was our count uh right? i thought it was seven so, days because you met seven the, days. the that doesn't make sense though it couldn't have been seven days right because you yeah. went over here I mean, there i mean we're we're coming across a key point i mean i we, it's been confused like even the even the fortnight even the 14 days mm -hmm. was like a, a communicate i don't know yeah. A, so a unit conversion from the from the tides that the Kuotoa, the fish people, gave us. It's been so there will probably be a clusterfuck of just random monsters showing up to the north shore west of Redport, Redport within the next week or so, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You might want to make sure to get there a little bit early because okay, I told because I I trans or I converted and then subtracted days for the giants, and I think I told them to get out there in nine days when okay. I think it was actually supposed to be ten, just to make sure they showed up early. Okay, good. So good. there's 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 confusion in the air. But, Excellent. Well. Anyway, uh, it is nighttime. Yeah. Back at back at the tent. Your slave has set up your tent for you, um, and the hobgoblins bed down for the night. A patrol is set. A watch is set. You are exempt from both. Um, and you drift off into a blissful slumber, or whatever a blissful slumber is for a hobgoblin. Um, and that night, a dream fills your mind. Um, you, you see before you a dog crawling out of the ground, a flaming dog crawling out of the ground. Um, its flesh is burning, and it just like pulls itself out leaps through the air as its flesh kind of like falls off of its body and just kind of like soars horizontally along the ground for a little while as the, the flames engulf it, its flesh falls off, its bones fall away, leaving just a spine and tail together as it impales a person with a bronze breastplate with the emblem of Redport on it, still on fire, going all the way through him. The guy topples backwards onto the ground. The dog, which is now just a straight vertebrae tail, still on fire, sticking up in the air. Um, and you look up to see before you a, uh, like a, not, I wouldn't call it a mountaintop, but like a, a, a outcropping of rock in the shape of a, a hand kind of looming over. Uh, and then the dream disappears and you wake up. Okay, I wake up with a sweat, a renewed confidence. Salak says to himself, it is time to unleash the hellhounds of Barassi. And I probably, it's probably before dawn still, but I think. Oh, it's the middle of the night. Yeah. To, oh, it's the middle of the night. Yeah. The, the sun's I'm nowhere near being up. So I, I somehow have a restful rest of the night so that I can memorize spells, but I don't think I go back to sleep. Like I spend it in prayer to okay. the goddess or whatever and memorize spells when dawn breaks. Sure. Yeah. Morning comes. The, the hellhounds. What a vision. The hobgoblins wake up as the fire master, fire starter. Uh, mm -hmm. You create I, yeah. a fire for the I'd, tribe. Yeah, I probably I've been up for hours, probably 
memorized my spells shortly after dawn and then got got the fire started in the center of camp. Mm. This, this is not my tribe, so I, I guess they didn't have a fire starter before I showed up. They were Correct. Just barbarians eating their meat raw half the time. Uh, Savages. What, what do you do? Do you let anyone in on um, your visions? Do you keep them to yourself? Uh, no, that one I'm keeping to myself at least for now. I, and I guess, yeah, Psylocke does not really have any spiritual confidants. Like, there's the chieftains, but they're they're dumb lugs. They're the muscle. Um, by the way, I memorize Cure Light Wounds and Command again, just because they're already written down on my cool. character sheet. That's convenient. And then I guess I, I think I still had Call Upon Faith and Cause Light Wounds. Okay. But if I didn't, I rememorize those two. Yeah, so I start the fire and I stare into the flames and I guess wait for the chieftain. I'm not going to, I'm hope, I guess if we, it doesn't seem like we're getting geared up to move by midday, I'll have spark, start a conversation with him. But I'm imagining that the chieftain uh, will No, by uh, midday things will have happened. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah. thinking about how hounds and how I'm supposed to raise them and how I'm a few levels away from being able to cast a animate dead spell and the chieftain <laughs> whose name is garth uh, approaches you as you stare intensely into the flames and says sarlock i have not seen you so focused before what is on your mind i probably take an extra moment or two continue staring into the flames before i turn and look at him like oh what what you said something and then it takes like a second for me to register first was oh I have, last night I had another vision. I'm still piecing together the, the words of the goddess. And I look back at the flame. What was it? I look to him with a giant grin and I say, hellhounds, dogs of bone and flame. My god. And I... A, and a fist of stone as large as a mountain large enough for all the, for, for all the hobgoblins to stand atop and overlook the carnage I nod this is a good omen Redport will burn Claw Peak what's what's this is a real place yes it is on the southern end of the range the range being I've of these hills. Range. Yeah, I'm like looking he up. He points to the direction. south. Yeah. I I must I must go. There is still there is still more than a week before uh, our rendezvous on the coast. I will head south. Where where do you take your warriors? Where should I take them? If there is a week until we meet, perhaps we shall raid some farms, some villages, gather supplies, and meet up with the the army. If that is I what you are calling us. I, I nod slowly. Garth, these are... This, these spiked foot are your men. I, I can... It is not my place to tell you where to go, aside from the word of Arasi. I will. I will be heading south to this. Uh, what did What did you call it? Claw Peak. Claw Peak. Yes. Do you perhaps have a guide that could explain to me the route? Or yes, he looks around. Um, he eventually gets you a guide confirms the location of where you guys are supposed to meet up on the coast um, mm -hmm. and you guys sort out the details unless you want to role play that out but it's, it's a pretty straightforward exchange of information yeah it sounds like he will be raiding elsewhere he's mm -hmm. not like oh yeah for sure the whole tribe is going to come with you to coffee no 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 they want to go yeah. uh gather some supplies and pick up the raid cool cool me and me and elfie okay that's, that's a that's a good name for her all right here we go that, that solves the whole problem with having to... With it. It's been weeks now. It'd be awkward if I asked for her real name. <laughs> Elfie will, will do. All right. Um, 
So yeah, we'll pack up the tent and start heading south. Do you want me to, do you want to like role play the directions to Clock Peak and simulate me getting lost on the way? Oh, you have a guide. Oh, he's coming with us. He's going to come with you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. What's, maybe we should, if you think it's relevant, maybe we should role play that interaction or you can describe to me what he looks like. He is a younger Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. He is not quite of age to be a warrior. Puts him at like 10 years old. So he's he's a kid, um, mm-hmm. but he knows but the way. He's probably he's probably like damn near six feet tall already. Yeah, and almost. I he's mean, like five and a half feet. Uh, perhaps well muscled. Mm-hmm. You know, his his got like some red on his face, but there's still yeah, like a lot of snout, orange and white, snout, maybe a little yellow. Starting to turn, but uh huh. He has uh, not yet tasted his first blood. Not of his own. Yeah. Uh, his voice breaks occasionally into barks you know <laughs> um what is what is his name or did they did they not get names until they come of age or, or what how does his how does name is sniffer sniffer he yeah he is one of the tracking his father is the well uh, his mother his father was the tracker for the tribe before he died um okay. he's known for his good sense of smell which is why they call him sniffer um, anyway, Sniffer will lead you to Claw Peak at the base of the hill range. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is very near that town whose name I've already forgotten. Rockwave. It's, not, yeah, it's very near Rockwave. I don't the name of it, necessarily. I guess I saw it in that note, but that was, like, translated from Dwarven, I think. And yeah. I don't exactly write things down. Okay. Um, I mean... Ryan writes down notes on his character sheet, but Silac does not write down the names of cities, so he wouldn't know. Right. So um, you're heading uh, roughly down here. Si- uh, Sniffer draws a crude map and me- mo- uh, points out down very near the base of the hill range, uh, just above that little inlet. Um, very, very well then. Let's see. Come, daylight's burning. And my um, elf, by now, hopefully, has packed up the tent. Yes. Elfie has packed up the tent. And we are... How many miles did we say you could move in a day? Um, I have movement rate nine. I don't think overland movements actually get scaled with, char- with character movement speed. But if, even if they did, it's probably like... Well, 24 is, like the I think, the baseline for movement 12. So for movement nine, it would be 18, right? Okay. 18 miles in a day. All right, so this is difficult terrain through those hills. He suggests, well, Sniffer says we could take two days to get through the hills, or we could go out of the hills, down through the plains, and then back into the hills. But that is not Spikefoot clan territory. That is Firebrand territory. And he says that they, you know, warring hobgoblin tribes don't, don't mix. Do you know who I am, child? We take the plains. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know how adolescent hobgoblins sound, but apparently <laughs> they, they're, they're sound like this. Ah. <laughs> Sounds like an old man hobgoblin. I an old man person. Ah. Well, old, old people and children are very close to one another. You know, they have a lot of similarities. <laughs> yeah, a few exceptions. No, well, they. Decades of experience, but once you know, once the dementia starts to set in, all that experience goes out the window. And I mean, you people take care of you. You can instincts. fart, and everyone thinks it's cute. You know, you can you, know, you you can say crude and crass things, and no one really gets upset at you. Being old is just like being a child. Okay, now that I've killed sufficient time to check up my tables. Oh yeah, so I think I'm back to full life. It looks like Elfie is down 1 HP. I don't know how old that is. She would have gained an HP last night, right? She never does. Right. Considering she would be fine. Around the strenuous activity. No, no, no. She's okay. She's okay. So she's back to four out of four. Yes. Claw is at two out of two. God, this is going to get... Becoming being a necromancer is involves a lot of bookkeeping once you start to level up. It does, doesn't it? Once there's like skeletons to keep track of and zombies, hellhounds. 
what the hell is I like Silox's mind is kind of like blown right now. He's like, "What? I'm just a level two, I'm just a level 2 priest minding my business. Here I am <laughs> uniting the tribes and summoning hellhounds. Way out of my league, way above my pay grade." Cool. So well, you and you. Sniffer head through the plains. It is a more kind of a quiet journey. It's just the three of you and you know, you're in unpleasant territory. There's no backup around. So you guys are keeping a close eye about. I don't think I agree. I think for Silac, this very much is pleasant territory. Okay. Right? All right. And like a, a fire, well, actually, this is pretty far east of where, like, I probably haven't roamed here very often, but it's technically Firebrand mm -hmm. territory, right? Once we're out of the hills. Yeah. This is sort of contested ground. But anyways, I mean, but I'm... I am a firebrand hobgoblin, and I seem to have garnered the respect of the chieftain of the spiked foot. So, okay, this this is my home. This is my turf, right? It is. Um, I need you to give me a give me a d10, would you? Yeah, our d10. That's my surprise check. A five. I am also. Oh wait, perception adjusts surprise, not wisdom. Yes. Or dex or whatever it used to be. I mean, it used to be dex. Okay. What is your? Do you have high perception? No. I have high dex, not okay. high perception. So my surprise adjust is not affected here. Okay. Um, but I think that's still pass. Uh, and. Okay, the um, Elfie is off leash. Like she's got her own chain, but she's instructed to stay within fifteen feet of me. Okay. The kid is probably off ahead. I, I think no one is allowed to talk, so I think we're we're traveling in silence. Yeah. Unless the kid has like a we need, hey hey we need to turn here. Or yeah, that, that's what I was getting at. That you're things. you're kind of traveling quietly, keeping an eye out for things. There's not a lot of yeah. chatting. Um, yeah, are you guys single file, double file, triple file? Um. Single, I think I'm just, I'm like probably 10, 15 plus feet behind the kid. So like I'm, yeah. So like normal, you're, you're hiking with some people and he's just ahead of exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. And like I said, Elfie is, is off the leash. She's okay. doing her thing, but her general instructions are to stay within 15 feet of me. Otherwise I'll shoot her in the back <laughs> or whatever, whatever threat I had, yeah. I had previously issued. All right. Well, as you guys are trekking through this these plains, uh, you feel a rumble at your feet as a large, very large, uh, kind of a... Here, I'm just going to show you guys a picture of it. I know all too well what this is. Our, our fans of Honor Brown will... Those of you that Something like this will, burrows uh, out from the ground... Giving up. I, hope this, I hope you handle this more realistically than Chucky. So it's only it's one giant ant. Am I surprised? First of all, yes, you are all surprised. They get an attack a surprise a attack surprise, on you guys. A surprise round, a full round, right? Yes, and let's cue the combat. So they, music. they, I guess they. Chewy, there are two that okay. burrow from the ground. I guess this is Chewy, not Fory. It's not two of them burrowing up simultaneously within six seconds of each other. No, it's it, what, when run, one round, the ground shakes, you guys look around, not sure what's happening. All of a sudden, these two creatures <laughs> burst, one on either side of Sniffer, with this loud... <laughs> he throws up his hands in surprise, reaches for his weapon, but not before the two ank eggs pounce at him. Oh. They get plus... Poor Sniffer. Hit. He was so young. One of them bites Sniffer with its powerful mandibles. Another one, the other one, uh, tries to get in on him, but is pulled. But Sniffer is pulled away by the first ant egg. Sniffer takes, oh god, a lot of damage. Oh god. <laughs> oh Sniffer. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. No, he's not dead. He is unconscious, though. He's okay. clearly unconscious, but you can see his uh, chest rising and falling as the ant egg like has it in its mandibles. You see this weird, like, uh, what's the term? Um, 
this weird, there's a, a pungent smell in the air of kind of burning flesh as the initiative? throws its head back and forth with him in it. Oh. Yes, please roll for initiative. All right, I am also, I am drawing a dagger and shouting and trying to get the attention of the Ankeg, so hopefully they don't eat Sniffer right then and there. Okay. And uh, shout to Alfie, hit them with their chain. Go for the mouth. And okay. Um, let's see if Elfie I'll eat on the one that goes, it's, it's got sniffer. Elfie passes Elfie. her morale check. You make. Hold control. on, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Uh, my six charisma imposes a minus two penalty to that morale check. Uh, no, are that's you, still a you, success. Oh, no, minus three, minus three. Loyalty base minus three. Reaction just minus two. Are you sure she doesn't run and flee for her life? Um, actually, I that think, might be a fail. The minus three, you might push it, push it over. Yeah, minus yeah, three loyalty. Yeah, with the surprise penalty for morale. Well, are there any other bonuses? Creature is lawful. Hold on. Okay. Uh, she's, she's probably torn. Giant man eating ants. Hobgoblin that said he'd shoot me if I ran. Yeah. It's close. But he's so ugly. Nope. Spellcaster ally boosts you over the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there he goes. Mm. Uh, she oh, wavers, but stands still. You may control her for this yes. battle. Uh, please roll initiative. Veros At least until she has to roll another morale check. It's her trust in Verasi that convinced her to say. <laughs> yes, the elf's trust in Verasi. <laughs> uh, please roll me an initiative. Oh, you did. Oh, for Elfie, should I use the same or? Uh, she's using a like chain. I think modifier? it's yeah. It's like six. Then the same yeah. four, or should I reroll? Uh, please roll her initiative separately. Okay, I think it's six, but it might even be slower. Let me double check. In any case, Silak would go first. Okay, Silak does go first. All right, so I leap upon the back of this creature, or which way is it face? As it well, there's descended? two of them. Uh, they're both like came up facing in towards where uh, Sniffer yeah. was. So I like I circle around and leap on the back of one of these creatures, uh, sure. drawing I had one dagger and then the other, dual wielding uh, d20. Uh, it's going to be minus one normally for my main hand, but back attack is plus two. Yes. So a total of plus one. Ooh. One save versus death. Yes. Not Pass. a problem. Second attack. Yeah, this one will be at a minus one. Oof, Not miss. Do it. Okay. But I am making a commotion as I'm doing this. So uh, the other ant egg crawls all the way out of its burrow. Uh, scuttles over to you. You notice that this creature is probably... 12 feet long. It's got these green scales that overlap each other. Six legs and this long, wicked mouth or head with pincers on the end and beady black eyes. You notice its body is sleek, shaped as if it's meant to swim through the water or burrow through the earth. Anyway, it scuttles towards you, low to the ground, uh, reaches out its mandibles to bite you, and gets a hold of your armor, shredding it a little bit on the sides, but without actually damaging you. AC 14. Yeah. Slitted leather index. Uh, and then Elfie goes. Uh, chain initiative is five, but I don't think that changes anything. Uh, she is non-proficient, so minus two. She's a zero-level fighter. Yes. Seven. Nice. Get it done, Elfie. I think these guys are large. They are large. So it's only D4 for damage. That's not a. Is that clear? That's not a crit, is it? It's an actual 19. Uh, uh, she doesn't have back. No. Back. I, I told her to hit it in the face. I think she like hits it in the face. If she she tries to hit it in the face, is the, this the one that the, draw, that has? If it's the one, if you tell yeah. me what she's doing, she's hitting it in the face. <laughs> Which one uh, is it? Did, did did the one that had Elfie or not Elfie sniffer drop him? He has not had a turn yet. The Sniffer Ant Egg has okay. not moved yet. All right, so she's not going to hit... She'll go for the one that doesn't have Sniffer and hit it in the face as instructed. 
for one point of damage. Uh, no, if actually, if she approaches it from the front and smacks in the face, the chain bounces harmlessly off of its chitinous plates. Fuck, better than AC 17? Her base, Jesus. Uh, at least in the face. I didn't realize they had directional armor. I, I mean, I was rolling. Uh, maybe they out. don't. Maybe they have that AC everywhere. I, I'm not telling yeah. you shit. Um, the one holding Sniffer. Does it... I think he's pretty I'm like, happy I'm eating like Sniffer. I'm playing against its back, shouting, but he may not even turn. You didn't even hurt it, so he. Yeah. I think he continues to eat Sniffer this round. Um, or does he I... try to? Doesn't he? Or does he try to pull it underground? Ooh. You know what? You might be the right. Here. ML. So it would provoke an opportunity attack, but he can probably get pretty f throw pretty far. Yeah. My You're God. right. He's got his prey. He just retreats down into his hole. Give me an attack of opportunity on him. Good suggestion. <laughs> Not that, you know, I'm trying to go easy on you here, but that's absolutely what he would do. Attack 18. 18 is a hit. Dagger is D3, I think, versus large. Yes. Ant eggs are nasty, brutish, difficult to kill creatures. They are yeah, extraordinarily. I think, I think we might have dangerous. just lost Sniffer. Oh fuck! Hi, buddy. He served us well. Okay. Uh, your dagger cuts through his plates, draws out a little blood as Sniffer's pulled well underground, and we roll initiative. Can I see how far it was pulled, or is it just like into the darkness? I've got 60 foot in for vision. If you want to take is the time in the middle of combat to like look down the hole and see how I far mean, he's gone, go for it. I mean, my action this round may be to chase down the hole. I'm trying. Can I see the ink egg, or is it gone? That's, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, no, you cannot see it. Uh, it's yeah, it's just like a, a black hole. I guess no, you do have infravision. Um, you can see that the tunnel goes down, like, ten feet, and then just down at ten feet is this ant egg, who's, like, got his face pointed towards the sky, and you can see Sniffer's body up there as the mandibles, like, crunch on him and start to, like, break him in half and pull him down into the mouth. Yeah. Alright, so Silek is casting a spell, and Elfie is failing at life. <laughs> oh, Elfie. Um, Silak goes first. Large creatures have plus six to their initiative. Yeah. Um, so Silak is clamoring down the hole, uh, fumbling to put a dagger away as he pulls out the writhing hobgoblin, dis dis disembodied hobgoblin claw mm -hmm. from his pocket, um, and reach out to touch the ankeg with his with the foul claw of Verasi. Which I guess is his hand in this case. Mm. Casting a cause light wounds that requires a touch attack. It does. Um, uh, give me a. Go ahead and give me a plus four. The ant egg is in the middle of feeding and okay. did not expect you to jump down into the hole after right, it. Sixteen, and I only need to clear AC ten. Right. Um, he would get an attack of opportunity if he wanted to drop. What's he his can't. Face? His mouth is currently like he's got okay, something okay. in his mouth. He... Yeah. Five points of damage. And... Mm. Uh, the ank egg, <laughs> and all of a sudden you feel yourself kind of pushed up as the remains of Sniffer are vomited back up towards you. Um, How's it looking? <laughs> <laughs> the remains of Sniffer is a very good way of putting it. Uh, as in a cure light wounds is not going to do anything? Yeah. Uh, would you please give me a saving throw versus breath weapon? What the... What? Uh, Did it recharge? Uh, just, just uh, give me 20, a save, I do have a dex bonus ship. That's not going to do it. Or did I just get... I got sniffered. Uh, breath weapon is 16. My high dex is not even going to save okay. me. There. Sniffer is giving you the equivalent of advantage on this sort of thing. So uh, a failure is considered a pass. A pass would have been complete pass. Um, okay. da -da 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 -da. So where... Hold on. First off, the music stopped. So you take Tabletop half audio. damage, com. yeah, which is now integrated with roll 20, which is fucking awesome. Loving it. 
Um, it as makes the, our shoutouts a lot easier. Yeah. A, uh, as this ant egg vomits up this digestive acids at Sniffer, well, at you, Sniffer takes most of it. You end up taking a paltry amount, if I can read these dice. You end up taking six points of damage. That's from... paltry? That's like half my HP. <laughs> uh, well, that sucks for you. You end up taking a paltry six points of damage uh, as these burning droplets hit your legs. You see Sniffer's body pretty much disintegrate underneath you. Can I... I want to try and get a hold of the kid's hand, at least. And take it with me. As I retreat up this up this hill. So, um, like, maybe I take an extra point of damage. Or maybe... That, I don't know. I try to, like, reach out and grab the kid's give me, hand. Give me a dex check to grab his hand. hand. Sort of disintegrating and being torn from the wrist. Give me a dex check to see if you can grab the hand... Uh, before the body just falls apart as you try to escape. D20 plus 16. Oh, there we go. Yes. Does that mean I get the whole sniffer, or do I just get a perfectly severed Verasi claw? Uh, you get the hand and, like, the forearm as well. It just rips off as you try and pull him out. I, yeah, I scamper backwards. Uh, oh, the, did the ank egg attack, uh, what's her name, or what did it it's... attack Elfie? That has not happened yet because he has. Well, a I went. Initiative. I think Ank Egg, Ank Egg went. Yeah. What's then... what's uh, Elfie's initiative? Fifteen. Okay. That's Other Ank Egg goes yeah. now. Uh, you can't see it because you're still in the hole, right? Unless you. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't climb out this round. Yeah. So, but you... I assume. I, but I'm doing bookkeeping for Elfie, so I need right. to know whether she gets eaten. <laughs> uh, you hear the the sounds of. You know, an angry ant egg or a hungry ant egg, and the cries of Elfie, but you continue to hear her scream, so you know she's not dead. So I'll make another chain attack with her. Yes. Um, I don't, yeah, I guess I see no reason for her to have to do another morale check or anything. No. No. So she beats back the ant egg with a chain, but. Okay. Probably, yeah, s stepping backwards as the beast misses the attack. Next round initiative. Yes, please. Silac on seven. Both on seven, actually. Ooh, you both go first. Um, so the ink egg just lets me flee with a... You get to climb out before it gets its turn, hand. actually. So yeah. Uh, the ink egg is like squirting this acid, screaming, trying to bur like, you know, burrow itself back down. Yeah. But you are six feet tall in a ten foot hole. Uh, you can probably climb out. Give me a... Give me a climb check. Do it as a part check. of my movement. Yeah. 64. I may actually need to check bonuses on that. My climb is 60. I probably get a bonus for the state of the walls, though. Yeah. But we're going to need to check. What are or, the or bonuses? Yeah. I think they're generally pretty. I think it's usually like on the order of like 20, 30% for most surfaces. Yeah. So I think like, I Not think that's 60. I think I've got a 60% chance to climb a flat vertical incline or something crazy okay. like that. Yeah, you got it. No problem. You scamper out of the hole, uh, hand and forearm intact. Uh, you see the ant egg whose back is now... His, his flank is to you here. Uh, and you see your friend, well, your slave, kind of slowly backing up chain in hand, trying to whip it and in I the think, face. I think she sees me bursting from the, uh, from, from the earth covered in mud and blood and acid. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a disembodied hobgoblin forearm in my hand as I leap on the ank egg, hopefully emboldening Elfie to swing with her chain. I'm only making one attack at the flank, so I guess just a straight d20. Okay. Yep. Uh, plus one for flank, right? Yes. No. no. Elfie, Elfie. We need you. No, no. So the ank egg clashes. The ank egg leaps at Elfie. Ooh, grabs her in his pincers, and we may be seeing the end of Elfie. Oh God! Oh God! Oh Goddess! Oh Goddess! Um, Elfie takes. Oh god. 
Elfie takes 14 points of damage. What? You're you're a bastard. <laughs> Add those up again. <laughs> Seriously? 14 yes. is exactly what it takes to bring her to negative 10. Oh. The ant egg yeah, grips Elfie. Four out of four HP. Breaks her back with its mandibles and brings her lower half into its mouth as her Elfie. upper torso is lying at your feet. Well, lying on the other I side of the ant egg. Right. Um, I, does the ant egg seem preoccupied with her lower torso? I mean, it's eating it on its turn, uh, and we need to roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get for naming your slave, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I should have asked. I know I should have asked. Um, I'm, I'm not attacking. I'm okay. fleeing with some actions. I may get a plus one dex bonus to that. Uh, okay, you go first, Anke, because that's 16. All right. So uh, I I probably just drop my dagger in a in a hurry mm -hmm. to get out of here, and I try and retrieve what, what of Elfie's remains, what of her bones I can carry. That would so mean walking to the front of the Anke. So I, I'm hoping that it's preoccupied eating her legs or whatever okay. you just described. And I can go over and like pull against the rest of her body and yank her uh, like torso free and drag it to safety. Oh yeah, the, the torso is like on the ground. ground. The legs yeah. are in her mouth. So, yeah. so I think Silax slinks, slinks away from combat, leaving the ank eggs to devour their quarry okay. as I scuttle into the hills with okay. a disembodied hand and Half of an Elfie. Hmm. And does the ant egg... How does the ant egg feel about Ryan stealing half of its food? <laughs> oh, I, the ant egg I, doesn't I, care, apparently. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I you scuttle away. I think we like... I think me and the ant egg team up to rip the body in half so that it can eat the legs. And I just slink away. I don't know who won that battle. <laughs> it wasn't Elfie. It wasn't <laughs> But I think we're out of combat. The two of you disappear. There's no two. There's just some. Uh, well, the, the one and a half of you disappear into the... Out of the... Away one. from the, the battle site and towards the hills. Um, you notice the ant egg... Once it's, you know, got most of Elfie's lower half in its mouth, uh, slowly scuttles back down the hole. Um, and you're left more or less in peace. Um, so I am gonna delete the second dagger from my character sheet. So now I have two left. So I'll delete an Elfie from my character sheet. I'll have oh, <laughs> I shouldn't be this excited. What did I get to change the half elven slave on my character sheet to half? <laughs> <laughs> Just get rid of the hyphen on it. <laughs> my, my bad. You're I'm, a monster. I'm a monster. I'm a hobgoblin. All right. Um. So Silac trudges through the hills. Uh, I guess Elfie had a bunch of gear that is probably just left behind and splayed everywhere. I was on her back, um, and you have her upper torso. Okay. So I've still got my brass bowl and my tent. It's probably heavy. I'm encumbered, so mm -hmm. I'm like dragging the shit at movement rate six or yeah, something like yeah. that. Half of an Elfie and the, hand, the disembodied hand in the other hand just sort of trudging through the hills for at least a couple of miles before I take stock of the situation. Yup. I better get some bitchin' hellhounds out of this Verasi. <laughs> what makes you think I'm like, I think I'm like hounds. muttering under my breath like a... I know I don't necessarily have the right to make it as a sacrifice, but I'm like... I'm like praying to... I'm like... I'm, sac I'm in my mind sacrificing Elfie's lower half and like the seven-eighths of Sniffer. The ant eggs just ate. <laughs> you can call it what you want. Rossi knows what has happened. And I don't think... I think I, I move... I think I travel for the rest of the day alone through the hills. Okay. Foothills at the edge of the, of the swamp. Um, I could maybe check and see if there's... We're approaching our first break, so let's do... I have camp things to do that night. Yeah, if there's anything in particular if, you would yeah, like so, to do. So I guess maybe check that I don't have any other surprise encounters. Uh, no, you, you travel the for the rest of the day through the hills uh, without encountering anything dangerous. You see yeah, plenty of creatures I, about, but it's it's more or less a peaceful day of travel. Yeah, 
So I, I start a fire um, for myself. Or I always have the fire. I'm the fire builder. Mm-hmm. But I build the tent for myself. Um, and then sit around the fire for a while with the corpses or with the remains of my former companions, a sniffer who I only knew for a day, and Elfie who I'd grown quite fond of. Nice. Um, and then I get to work. I, I, I guess I, I gratefully find that the brass bowl that Elfie had been carrying is still there. Oh no, I already, I guess I already prepared bone powder from the giant's knuckle or from the giant finger. Right. So I got bone powder and scorpion tails. You can prepare and, more bone powder if you'd like. Now that I don't need to do that. I, I'm actually going, going to prepare Sniffer's, Sniffer's hand. I've already got my components. So I perform the, whatever it is, it's a 20 minute ritual. Um, praying to Varasi, uttering arcane, not divine incantations. Sure. incantations accursed uh, incantations cursed incantations mixing my scorpion venom or a, a drop of poison from the scorpion tail with the bone powder of the giant's knuckle um, casting it upon uh, sniffers hand and forearm and animating it in the name of Varasi, sacrificing his body and spirit to her uh, let's roll for HP for the sucker. I think it's, they're, yeah, they're D4s, right? They or are. It, it might have been D3. Is, I think it was two to four. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's D3 plus one. Yeah. yeah. So should we just call that a four? Or how do you want to uh, it? I didn't even see what you rolled. Uh, no, it. re-roll it. Uh, okay. D3 plus one. Oh, well. Easy bookkeeping. Now I have two crawling claws with eight, two HP. Nice. And is this like a clean, like how much of the flesh was melted off by the acid? Uh, the radius and ulna are almost stripped clean. There's still a little bit of flesh on it. The hand is more or less intact. Cool. Orange fleshy fingers on a stump. Um, I'm going to cast a cure light wounds on myself. Heal that up. Nice. Seven. So that, yeah, I think I, I took six points of acid damage, so that brings me back to full. Yeah. I guess I yeah I I I probably don't sleep as soundly as I would have thought I would have. I guess if that makes sense. I think Silac is a little more troubled by the by the passing of Elfie. He'll find something he'll find something worthy to do with her with her other half are you gonna keep dragging her around yeah absolutely she's still got a ch- i can drag her around by the chain oh my god oh, god. oh no you're a monster I got it. I got it. <laughs> you're dragging around half of an elf by a chain half that's like a t- half elf oh god you're a monster ryan what? you you made me this way i was know you, we made each other this way <laughs> <laughs> all right this think, is a great I think that's all the bookkeeping i need to do this is this, this is, is a great ending point for our first set, uh part of today we're gonna see you guys in probably about five minutes because i need to go make some more tea so a little bit longer break see you guys on the other side bye bye <laughs> uh-huh.